Guess what? While you liberals are bullying the president for having the guts to govern by executive order, North Korea has a dictator. Kim Jong-un is a strong man whose narcissistic personality threatens to destabilize the world order. And of course, I don't like the globalist world order. And, and maybe, yeah, maybe I think it needs a bit of destabilizing. Anyway, he runs a country that lets the poorest starve while spending an insane amount of money on the military. Not that it's the role of the government to help the poor, obviously. But his anti-trade economic policy is starving his own people. Even if, you know, yeah, it does make sense for a country to be self-sufficient. Hmm. Look, if he's not stopped, Kim Jong-un's nationalism and love of naked force are going to make him a threat to Japan and South Korea and other places that are taking American jobs, which, which is bad. On top of it all, he's a pudgy, short-fingered creep with weird hair who actually, in the right light, looks kind of strong, yeah, and authoritative and, I don't know, <laughs> sexy. And sure, he makes some good points. Like, yeah, it's really important to control journalists and the internet. And obviously, every country could use a few more haunting children's choirs. I guess what I'm trying to say is, no matter what the mainstream liberal media tells you, it's time we got our act together and made an alliance with North Korea. Those guys are all right. Or as we say here in America, glorious thousand-year champions of the dear leader. Anyways, that's just how it is, y'all. And if you don't like it, you can go move to North Korea, which I've heard is actually quite beautiful this time of year. I'm Tori Lauren from Dallas, and I'll see you next time.